Why? Is it bad to have a runny nose? Niagara Falls in my nose, which is so sexy, I know. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to my channel. This is Karina. Today, I'm so excited to be finally doing this video. You guys have been asking for it for such a long time. Have you ever found yourself just staring at your closet every morning and be like, I have nothing to wear even though your closet is probably full of pieces that you can wear today i'm going to show you guys some ideas on simple outfits for those days when you have a bunch of clothing options but you have no idea how to put them together no idea what to wear yeah let's get started i feel like the most obvious thing when you have nothing to wear is to go for something super basic and you can never ever go wrong with a white top and a pair of blue denims for the bottoms i went with a white tank top like this it's a little bit cropped and it ends around here and i just went with a levi's denim skirt it's a little bit distressed at the bottom which i think is super cute has that like worn look to it and also because it's the springtime i thought i would just throw on something a little bit pastel a little bit more colorful in case you're bored of this look here throw on something like this now this entire outfit is actually from thread up who is the sponsor of today's video you guys i have talked about thread up and so 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 many different videos you guys have no idea how proud of the fact that I'm able to score something at like a steep steep discount like that is like the first thing I tell everyone whenever people are like hey girl I really like this top where'd you get it and I'll be like throw it out five bucks and I'm so proud to share it all with you guys so this top is a very basic top it's from Zara and I got it from thread the original estimated price was about $20 and I got it for just I don't even want to say it. you guys are not gonna believe me it's just $4.99 and then for this Levi skirt it's also from thread up the original estimated price for this Levi skirt was about $60 and I got it for just $12.99 which is such such a steal for something as basic as this my tip when you guys are shopping on thread up or when you're thrifting is to look for timeless pieces that will never go out of style and that includes you know good brands that are good quality for example this pink dress shirt is from Ralph Lauren this is the size extra large and I got this extra large because I wanted it to kind of have like a relaxed boyfriend fit on me originally estimated retail for this pink shirt is around $75 and I got it on sale for just $13.99 which is amazing considering you know the fact that it's Ralph Lauren it's practically like brand new condition like there's no pills there's no even signs of it ever being worn and I've actually gotten threaded pieces with like the tags still on the pieces so you know it's like brand Brand new with tags which makes the deal that much sweeter it's optional but you can also go with hats I just feel like hats like this really tone down the formality of your dress shirt this hat just so happened to match this which I'm so into I'm just like into coincidentally matching colors and this is just a tote bag this entire look is now on the thrift the look feature on thread up and I have a link for you guys in the description box along with a 30% off coupon code Karina for 30% off your first order on thread up plus free shipping so you guys can recreate this exact look sustainably if you guys are more comfortable with long jeans instead for this look you can totally go for that so i'm keeping the same top i have on and just swapping out my denim skirt for a pair of good old denim jeans that's slightly ripped here just so i have something like interesting going on swapping out my pink shirt for this yellow striped one which is also from Tara, which is also from ralph lauren you guys don't already know i have like a thing for ralph lauren and i always get enough for that because i ain't gonna pay full price i love this combo because i just feel like there's so many different ways you can run it. you can just like have it hanging out like this or you can have one button button in the middle the third way to wear it is to split it with half of your shirt tucked in and the other half tucked out i also like to roll up the cuffs like this and sometimes i'll also do something like this it just makes it look more polished and casual i also think this gives a really like model off duty look especially in the summertime when you're not trying too hard but your outfit still looks really cohesive and put together this next combo is something that i feel like every girl should have in their closet already white top black bottom that's it do you know the beauty of this you can pair whatever blazer you have like literally cropped long oversized undersized all different colors in the world we'll go with this color combo on the bottom let me know which blazer combo you guys like best with this base look the pink one the beige one the olive one or this gray one the best part about this look is that if you are not about to be wearing sneakers everywhere like if you want to make this elf a little bit more dressier than casual 
just switch into a pair of slides or heeled mules and you instantly transform this look into a more dressier version. Also great for those like morning to night looks and walk around the daytime in your sneakers and then when nighttime comes, switch into a pair of these. I think it's a great transition from day to night. This all black combo is another example of an outfit that will always work. And if you have nothing else to wear in your closet, pick out some pieces that are black, black top, black bottom, black blazer, black shoes, black accessories, black purse, and ta-da! Have you heard the saying that's like, I'll wear a darker shade if they come up with a darker shade of black? <laughs> is that what it says? Oh my goodness. Some people really do swear by going all black because it is just so chic, so sophisticated. Never go wrong. In case you think the all black is like too much, a way to really add some color into your outfit is by going for a green accessory. So this is a green purse that I honestly just think it's just the right amount of like popness. So instead of like, you know, attending your sugar daddy's funeral in all black, you're attending it in a happy way. What a vibrant color to start the beginning of the rest of your life. For you dressy girlies out there, I didn't forget about you. In case you want to go for something a little bit dressier but still have the all black effect, this is what you go for. I just have on a super simple turtleneck dress that is a little bit flared around here, pairing it with my straight heads ties because that is like all I wear. They are the toughest ties, unbreakable, and then just pairing it with my dog. You can pair with heels if you want, but I just find that if I'm going for something super like sexy on top, I want to kind of balance it a little bit with my footwear and not go to like sky high heels. Even though I do want to say that I think the super super popular Valentino platform Mary Janes will look amazing with this look. Ah, freaking amazing if I can afford them. Blazer is optional if you want to go for that like layered look or if it's a little chilly where you are. Blazer is always a good option. Can never go wrong with the black blazer. So black on black on black on black on black. Classic. Iconic. You're not gonna think I'm not gonna include skirts. I might be sick, but I can be sick in style. Sweatshirt, skirt. This combo will literally work with whatever crew neck you have lying around your closet. The only thing about these skirts is that I suggest and recommend for you to find a skirt that has built-in shorts within the skirt. They also refer to skort in some sites when you're shopping. It just makes your life that much easier. Like it just makes it that much more perf proof. You can avoid situations like this, especially if you're in Texas. Trust me guys, I've gotten so many DMs from you guys asking me how do you wear a skirt when it's windy out. And the thing is you either don't or you invest in a skirt that has built-in shorts. I really like this skirt because it does have built-in shorts on the bottom and it's real flowy it has like micro pleats going on and it has that shape which is like a flared a shape going on so it's not too like flat to your hips i find that when you have skirts that are too like tightly across your hips it doesn't work too well with these oversized sweaters so if you have a skirt that's slightly on the flared side you can use it with this and i just think it's so cute okay it gives that really varsity vibe it gives that preppy vibe in comes my green purse again to match this I'm just so into green. If you haven't gotten any green items yet, this is your sign to go buy your first green item this summer. The next look is what I call like my 90s classic because this is just totally Rachel and Monica season one and two and I love it to death. This is an oversized zip up hoodie with this t-shirt, just a plain basic white t-shirt on the bottom and a pair of high-waisted denim shorts and together it just gives me such casual vibes paired with the 90s aesthetic and I'm just loving it. I'm eating it all up. This is also an outfit that incorporates pieces that I feel like are in everybody's wardrobe and if you don't have like a black hoodie like this, you can go for anything. You can go for a gray one, a cream color one, as long as it's like a neutral color, I think it's gonna work beautifully with this outfit. Okay, next up we have the good old yoga pants and oversized anything. Okay, if you have an oversized t-shirt, this would work. If you have an oversized sweater or hoodie, it will work too. I have a crew neck that I'm wearing right now, but you can also go for something that has a hoodie, like this super big sweater that I got during my pregnancy and realized that I didn't really wear it afterwards. I think this look is just really, really casual and it adheres to my fashion policy. Yes, I have fashion policies, you guys, of having something that is really, really baggy with with something that is a little bit form-fitting on the bottom. So if you have like a baggy top, go for a form-fitting bottom. If you have like a really tight skin tight top, go for something like a loose baggy jeans on the bottom. In my dictionary, there is nothing 
such as being too oversized. If you don't have something like this, just go into your dad's closet, go into your brother's, go into your boyfriend's closet or your sister's closet, whatever. Paired with a tote bag like this and you're ready to go. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it and let me know what is your go-to minimal look when you have nothing to wear. Hopefully you guys can get some inspo from this video. Do not forget to use my code Karina for 30% off your first order plus free shipping on Threadout. Click the link in the description box down below. Stay healthy, stay happy. I love you all. Bye!